On Wednesday, the exchange rates of the US dollar against the Iraqi dinar fell in both Baghdad and Erbil markets. According to Shea Fake News Agency's survey, the dollar's rate dropped with the opening of the Al Kifa and Al Harithiya stock exchanges in Baghdad, settling at 149,200 dinars per $100 down from 149,300 dinars the previous day. In Baghdad, currency exchange stores reported a holding ground, with the selling rate at 150,250 dinars per $100 and the buying rate at 148,250 dinars. In Erbil, the dollar's rate decreased with the selling price at 149,200 dinars per $100 and the buying price at 149,100 dinars. Gold prices held steady on Wednesday as investors braced for a monthly U.S. payrolls report that could influence how swiftly and deeply the Federal Reserve cuts interest rates this year. Spot gold held its ground at 2,491.01 per ounce as of 624 GMT. U.S. gold futures steaded at 2,522.20. Before the non-farm payrolls report on Friday, job openings data on Wednesday and the ADP employment and jobless claims reports on Thursday will be in focus. Traders see a 41% chance of a 50 basis point BP rate cut on September 18 and a 59% chance of a 25 BP reduction, according to the CME Group's FedWatch tool. If the jobs data is weak, it will increase the probability of a 50 BP cut and raise worries about growth slowdown, which will be supportive for gold, said Kyle Rada, a financial market analyst at Capital.com. But from a technical viewpoint, positioning is a bit too long for gold and this might limit upside, said Rada, adding that prices were likely to scale new highs in the longer run, even if there was a pullback in the short term because of positioning. Data on Tuesday showed that U.S. manufacturing contracted at a moderate pace in August amid some improvement in employment. Bullion is considered a safe asset during political and economic uncertainty and tends to thrive in a low-rate environment. So far this year, gold has gained 21%, hitting an all-time high of 2,531.60 on August 20. Spot silver fell 0.4% to 27.93 per ounce. Platinum gained 0.4% to 906.40 and palladium was flat at 938.75. The two metals are primarily used in engine exhausts to reduce emissions. In Germany, consumers turning away from BEV's battery electric vehicles has resulted in about 50,000 additional sales of catalyzed vehicles, which will help to improve palladium demand in the short term. Analysts at Harrius said in a note.